Are you Veritas certified? Veritas certification is an industry recognized program that validates that you have the knowledge and skills to deploy, manage, and administer Veritas products and solutions. If you are an IT professional responsible for information availability, backup, and recovery, email storage and archiving, or other aspects of information governance, Veritas certification is for you. Becoming Veritas certified distinguishes you from your peers by showing your current and future employers that you are serious about applied learning and that you have experience in administering Veritas products. In today's competitive job market, where many IT professionals have the same well-known certifications, having a specialized credential like the Veritas Certified Specialist can set you apart from the field, opening the doors to new opportunities in your industry. Over the next few minutes, we'll show you how to prepare for the NetBackup 8.0 and NetBackup Appliances 3.0 certification exam. You can find everything you need to know about this exam at go.veritas.com slash certification. Click on the exam list and navigate to NetBackup and then NetBackup 8.0 and NetBackup Appliances 3.0. This page provides specific information about the exam, such as the number of questions, the passing score, and so on. In addition, this is where you find the exam preparation guide and the sample exam. To prepare for the exam, start by downloading and reviewing the exam preparation guide. This will provide you with an overview of the exam. This guide lists recommended training and product documentation to review and provides guidance on how to prepare for the exam. The exam preparation guide also outlines specific lessons and topics from the training that you should study to meet each exam objective. Once you are familiar with the scope of the exam, you should sign up for the recommended training classes. Veritas Certification Path Diagrams provide guidance on which courses to take. These diagrams are available on the Education website. In the description below this video, a complete list of website links is provided for your reference. Gaining hands-on experience with the product is also important. Veritas recommends that you have approximately six to nine months of experience working with NetBackup 8.0 and NetBackup Appliances 3.0 before taking the exam. The exam preparation guide provides a list of common tasks that you should be able to perform in your environment. If you are already certified on an older version of NetBackup, such as NetBackup 7.6.1, you need to focus your study on new features introduced in later versions of the product. For example, NetBackup 7.7 .7 and NetBackup Appliances 2.7 introduced questions on configuring appliances and managing storage using Clish and the Appliance Web UI as well as installing appliance updates. It also tested your ability to monitor and tune appliances. And NetBackup 8.0 and NetBackup Appliances 3.0 covers additional features such as configuring and managing cloud storage as well as implementing NetBackup Accelerator. It also covers changes to the IPMI interface and the appliance web console. It also tests your ability to manage appliances at a more in-depth level and requires you to be able to troubleshoot basic appliance issues. After you attend the recommended training and have acquired the hands-on experience, continue to use the exam preparation guide to prepare for the exam. This exam tests your knowledge and familiarity with a variety of components and features of NetBackup 8.0 and NetBackup Appliances 3.0. The Configure NetBackup 8.0 and NetBackup Appliances 3.0 section covers configuring master, media, and client settings, removable media, storage units, and storage unit groups.
and backup policies. You are also tested on specialized backup solutions, dedupe options, and catalog backups, as well as your knowledge of configuring appliances using Clish and the Appliance Web Console. In the Monitor and Maintain NetBackup 8.0 and NetBackup Appliances 3.0 section, you are tested on your ability to install updates, duplicate backup images, interpret NetBackup reports, manage NetBackup storage devices, and manage backup, duplication, and restore jobs. You are also tested on monitoring and managing NetBackup appliances as well as installing appliance updates. The Tune NetBackup 8.0 and NetBackup Appliances 3.0 section tests you on analyzing, optimizing, and tuning NetBackup and NetBackup appliances. And finally, the Troubleshoot NetBackup 8.0 and NetBackup Appliances 3.0 section covers interpreting status codes. It also requires you to have knowledge of troubleshooting devices and media as well as other issues, including recovering the NetBackup catalog. In addition, you are required to have knowledge of troubleshooting basic appliance issues. The next step in preparing is to practice your exam taking skills using the downloadable sample exam. The sample exam provides 20 questions that represent what you can expect to see on the exam. Set aside 20 minutes, clear your desk, and time yourself taking the sample exam. You should average one minute per exam question. In the actual exam, you will be asked to answer 75 to 85 questions in 105 minutes. Some exam items test your knowledge of product features and functionality. Other items are scenario based and test your ability to apply the net backup and appliances solution to meet a need or solve a problem in a real world environment. Let's look at a few items from the NetBackup 8.0 and NetBackup Appliances 3.0 sample exam, and I'll explain the type of knowledge required to answer the items correctly. Which two methods are used to automate duplication in NetBackup? There are two correct answers for this question. In this example, A and D are correct. NetBackup Vault automates various functionality including backup duplication, tape ejection and reports, and storage lifecycle policies automates the duplication and replication of backup images. B is incorrect because the BP duplicate command is used to manually create backup duplication. C is incorrect because OpCenter provides reporting functionality but does not automate any duplications. And E is incorrect because Open Storage API is an interface used by Veritas Technology Partners to be able to facilitate use and communication between NetBackup and various intelligent storage. But it doesn't automate duplication. Next question. An administrator is replacing an existing appliance media server with a new appliance. Which step should the administrator perform to migrate images and policies from the old appliance to the new appliance? In this example, C is the correct answer. The migration utility enables you to move copies of backup images from source disk pool to destination disk pool. A is incorrect because BP Duplicate creates a copy of backups that NetBackup has created, but it does not move copies from one appliance to another. B is incorrect because the catalog utility in the NetBackup Administration Console is used to perform many tasks with catalog backups and backup images such as duplicating, copying, and expiring but is not used to migrate images and policies. And D is incorrect because auto image replication provides the ability to replicate backups from one net backup domain to storage in another domain. Next question. 
An administrator of a multi-site, multi-domain net backup environment wants to be able to provide redundancy for backups as well as protecting the net backup image database. All backups must have on-site and off-site copies in multiple net backup domains as well as off-site tape copies. Which net backup feature should the administrator use to implement the functionality? C is the correct answer to this question. Auto image replication is used with storage lifecycle policies to provide replication functionality or duplicate backup images across net backup domains in multiple sites. A is incorrect because replication director is used to replicate snapshot data for specific vendors and is not related to tape backups. B is incorrect because optimized duplication is the net backup feature which ensures duplication jobs across similar storage types, use deduplication, and can take advantage of reduced data transfer. And finally, D is incorrect because although Vault with catalog backups does provide the ability to create backup copies locally as well as copies of the net backup catalog and can automatically eject tapes, it doesn't have the ability to replicate backups to remote sites. Now here is the last question. An administrator working off-site needs to perform a major upgrade to a net backup appliance. The appliance needs to be rebooted multiple times during the upgrade process. How should the administrator connect to the appliance to monitor the upgrade progress without interruption? For this question, B is the correct answer. Connecting to the appliance using the IPMI interface will give the administrator the ability to monitor the upgrade process without interruption. A, C, and D are incorrect because connecting to the appliance using these methods will not give the administrator the ability to monitor the upgrade process without interruption. You now have an idea of the kinds of questions you'll see on the exam. After you've taken the recommended training, gained the hands-on experience, and studied the sample exam, you're ready to register for the real thing. To register for a Veritas certification exam, you need to obtain a Veritas Cert Tracker ID. Select a test center location and follow the registration instructions provided on our website. See the links in the description below to access all the resources referenced in this video. If you have any questions, you may also contact us by email. Congratulations! You are on your way to becoming Veritas Certified. Remember, to begin your path to Veritas Certification, visit go.veritas.com certification. And best of luck in taking the exam.